actually visiting us today. And of course we have a lot of good things to talk about. 2010 to 2012 are really the years of building up a brand new company, Saab Automobile AB. From having been a part of an integrated organization within General Motors, our focus that during this period will be, of course, new products. Not only refresh our entire portfolio, but also expand our portfolio. We will also build a brand new distribution organization, totally independent, just focusing on the Saab brand. And last but not least, to create an independent, self-sustainable Saab automobile organization. Last week we celebrated our one year anniversary or our Independence Day as we called it. 2010 has been a year with a lot of activities in rebuilding the Saab automobile. And our employees, our dealers, suppliers, customers have done a fantastic job in this first year. 2011, or the first half of 2011, bound to be just as active as what we have seen in 2010. We will continue our efforts in building our distribution organization and a standalone Saab automobile. But more importantly, this is the beginning of a very offensive launch of brand new products. The 94X that we launched in uh, Geneva, in uh, Los Angeles, sorry, in the end of last year, will go into production in April. The 93 will also get some additional news in 2011. We will not only launch the independence convertible that you'll see here on stand, just behind you, but you will also see changes on the base models of the 93 called the Griffin model. This will not only be exterior, interior changes, but also the introduction of 119 brands, both on the sedan model and on the sport company. Something very important for the tax market. Here in Geneva, we also celebrate the world premiere of the 95 Sport Combo. The wagon version of the 95 is extremely important to many markets in the Northern Europe, in particular our home market in Sweden. And you will, during the course of this press conference, also see some other news coming from Saab. Seldom have we been able, here in Geneva, to present so many new products as we're doing today. And this is really the result of the hard work from the entire Saab organization in just about 12 months' time. 2012 will then be the year of the new 93. And this is the time when we will have the opportunity to show to you what an independent Saab organization can do, technically, with architectures that are flexible, modular, very appealing design, but also vehicles and cars that are driver's cars, where our definition of performance with safety, practical vehicle, utilizing small displacement, turbocharged engines that generate a very low emission will be the cornerstone of the Saab brand as we go into the future. This is our journey for the next two years, and I hope that you will all be impressed with what you're going to see here today as a total product offer. I now have the pleasure to hand over the podium to the Chairman of Saab Automobile, Victor Miller. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's hard to say how proud I am today, one year into our deal, one year into an independent Saab, to present to you so many new models. It shows the dynamism but particularly the resilience of a company that one year ago was basically in liquidation. When we acquired a company, there were no cars in production. Our supply chain was in shambles. Our projects for new products were on hold. And look at what we've achieved. I'm really very proud and we thanked our employees and our best customers and our best um, suppliers last week in Johannesburg in an unprecedented, let's say, party. 
Today, we celebrate a new Geneva, a milestone for this small company on its path to independence. This very show, one year ago, I introduced Jason Castriota to Yanaka Johnson. Jason and I met for the first time in 2006 when he unveiled the new 599 Ferrari. And I, on the other side of the aisle, introduced the new Spyker. A lot of things have happened since then, but we made a commitment five years ago to today. We said one day we will work together, admiring each other's work. And that day came one year ago when I introduced him and I said, listen, what we need in order to underpin this new design language is what I call the Saab Saab. We need someone with a fresh eye, someone with a bold approach to Saab. Someone who grew up with Saab, but is Italian enough to make a good design look sexy. And that person is Jason Castriota. I would, before we go into the very um, interesting unveiling of our concept car, I would very much like to say a few words about our Saab Independence Day convertible. When we celebrated the first year of independence, we felt we have to mark this remarkable achievement year by year with a special car. We're only going to make 356 cars plus one of this convertible. Next year we'll pick another model and Jason's hands will be all over that one and it's going to be 365 plus two. And we keep on doing this until infinity. This convertible is basically already sold out so it's a, it's a good way of underlining the independence of our car. Another good decision that we took last week, or we announced it last week, was to spin off the Spiker business. Many people have asked me, aren't you tremendously sad that your baby has to go? But the opposite is true. I proposed it to the board because in order for Spiker to flourish, it needs cash. To develop the Peking to Paris SSUV, which is basically finished in terms of its engineering, we would need 25 million euros. If we would issue, and I'm talking here as the CEO of a public company, if we would have to issue 25 million euros at today's stock price, all the shareholders, including myself, would dilute by 22% for a business which is less than 0.1% of the totality. This is simply unjustifiable. So in order to let Spike flourish, we sold it to the man who saved it in 2007. Vladimir Antonov, someone who has as much a heart for Spiker as I have. Under his stewardship, the company will grow and grow, and it can be financed to achieve its own business objectives. On an operational level, everything will stay the same. It's merely a separation from a capital markets point of view. Now, on to the real big presentation today. Jason has set out on developing the new Saab design language, taking in 47 years of Saab and translating that into what he feels is a Saab all about. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm very proud to present to you our new chief designer who will explain to you what we're about to unveil, our new concept car, Jason Castriotti. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here today. As Victor mentioned, it's quite amazing to think that only a year ago I was invited on the stand to talk about the perspective of a new bold Saab. When I left that stand on the second press day of Geneva, I was given a single directive by Victor and Yamate, create true bold Saabs, cars that at once reached into our core DNA, but yet were bold and courageous enough to push forward into the future. The Saab Phoenix concept is the manifestation of the renaissance that's occurred at Saab. And we'd like to dedicate this car to all the men and women in Chilhattan and all the fans around the world that have helped keep Saab going in its most tumultuous times and now as we look forward to a very bright future. So without further ado, the Saab Phoenix concept.
As you can see, the Saab Phoenix concept is ushering in a new design language for Saab. It's based on our new modular platform of the same name, which has allowed us to create a sporty three-door hatch to the spirit of Saab's core. Here we have the aeromotional design aesthetic. This design aesthetic is the perfect bookend to our last generation of concept cars, which pushed forth a cool geometric aesthetic, which was then inspired the 9.5 and the 9.4X. The aeromotional design brings in expressive volumes and fluid forms that will inspire a new generation of soft vehicles. Moving to the interior of the car, we've contained our driver orientation and minimalist feel, and we have the world premiere of the Icon infotainment system. This is a Google Android operated system, the first smartphone application in an automobile. This will allow the driver to pull applications, modify, upgrade this system through the ownership experience of the car. Moving to the powertrain, the Phoenix concept is featuring our new 1.6 liter, 200 horsepower, efficient yet powerful engine made into our cross, e cross wheel drive system. This electric cross wheel drive system, developed together with American Axle, mounts motors at the rear wheel, which add torque vectoring in times of difficult traction and improved acceleration due to the increase in torque. What you see here, from the modular platform to the fluid design aesthetic, the Icon infotainment system, and the new powertrain and mechanicals, is not just a promise, it's not a flight of fancy of where Saab is going. It is the future of Saab today. Thank you very much. Ja, titta hit och tolka.